Okay, so what we're looking at again here is getting data out of QuickBooks Online and into zero ledgers for financial statements or even management type reports depending on what you're doing. Um, the key thing is moving the transactional data from QBO to a zero ledger. All right, so I'm logged in to QBO Accountant, so I'm gonna to go to a client here, go down to reports, General ledger for each account in your chart, the report shows all the transactions that occurred in the account over a period of time, it includes the beginning balance and total. All right, let's, uh, let's run the GL report. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to export that out. All right, so what data have I got? Definitely got the date. Balance I don't need. Date's good. Type, oh, I'll leave it there for now. Number, that's check number. I'll say adjustment, we don't need those. Delete. Now, this here looks like account. Ref. Rinse. Okay, so these three columns. Okay, so if we go to zero, we go to zero into our ledger here. I'm going to set up a bank account. I just want a bank account. I'm not going to hook up bank feeds because I can't. I can't import a statement. Now in this case, download a CSV template. Okay, so you can see we've got a couple of mandatory columns here. Now we've got those back in our um, other export. And we've got that, and that, and that. Check number. Don't need that. I'm going to get rid of it. What could also go here though, and this is not mandatory, but this those as an option. Not that we want them. Okay, so I'll just put them in red just as a reminder. Okay, so if I take the data out of here, GST inclusive. Okay, so back here, basically we've got the majority of what we need. If I get rid of that, just copy this. Go paste here. I know this is wrong. Nine hundred and thirty transactions. It's a bit of data. So that's all good. I like that green for good. That's all good. Green for good. Definitely need to do that. Okay. So payee. No, this can cut across actually. This here, I know this here's contact, which is called payee. So if we get that down here. So I've got the contact, payee, all good. And these two will definitely come through and go to the right spots. So I've actually got a green light. We've got a green light here. Now the, and they're definitely withdrawals negative. Okay, so we could import this like this. So if I just get rid of those for now, just go delete, save. Let's try and import this, see what happens. Let's bring that data in. Okay, so down here, zero is basically asking us what's going on. Hey, is definitely the contact. And reference. And over here, if we go like that, sorry, over here, you see that things change over here. It shows us a little bit more. Down here, you can see, yeah, it's looking all right. Okay, um, we can bring that in. So let's bring it in. 930 statement lines imported, zero with duplicates. 
Right, now if you're worried about getting this part wrong, you can go back and delete the bank statement by going here. Statement. Click on it. Here's the delete entire statement option. So back in the bank account here, if you see more, you'll see that we've got quite a bit of detail. So we really can start to um, reconcile this easily. Like reference was actually the chart of accounts, motor vehicle expenses. So if we go over here to cash coding screen, and you sort by reference, that's the chart of accounts. So we know that's the chart of accounts in QBO. Come through and select these, buffer, 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 etc. Come over here and go advertising with GST. And you can post, post away. So you can go through all these, all these transactions. Um, only thing is, you cannot, you, the only thing is you can only sort by one of these columns. You can't really do a sort. Like it would be nice to be able to sort both these two. Because that's the thing is like not all these, watch, watch what happens if I um, type in 401 here. Okay. Right, it would be better to have these all sorted. Okay, so that's one way of getting the data in and getting it reconciled. Now in here, I can also put tax type and count. This way requires a little bit more work. So if I run a filter, data filter, now remember reference is the chart of accounts. Okay, so accounting and bookkeeping, we know there is GST on expenses for all those advertising and marketing definitely 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 okay so we've now populated that column there so that's actually green now we're almost there we're just going to get the last one all right just got to get the last one this is the account number so this is a little bit fiddly Okay, first option is go back and watch this video on the YouTube channel. On the YouTube channel. Importing efficiency in zero ledgers. What this video will show you is how to insert the chart of accounts as a drop down list. You've got here is. Okay, we don't want to listen to me, thanks. Um, Bring it over to here. Right, you can see now I've copied and pasted the chart of accounts into the import spreadsheet, which actually means you can select the chart. So if I come here, you'd actually be able to go here and select the chart of accounts. Okay, so you can insert it into this template as a data source or data source, whatever you want to call it. All right, um, in this case, we could quickly just go into zero and have a look. And from here, you might want to just type it in, like service income is 210. Um, advertising 401, bank fees 406. So if you go back here, that was 400, 401, 401. Drag, advertising marketing. ATO clearing account, and that's 820, 820. Okay, so now I've added in the account, so the account number. So I should get a green light on that one too. Okay, so we've got all these columns here. Now we've got these two extra ones. These are the key columns to make this auto reconcile. Now remember there's 930 transactions here. So reconciling even in the cash coding screen could take a while. So if you can do it in Excel first, and I'll just save that, before you import, here's what happens. Import, and once I hit, now remember, 
there is 929 transactions. All right, so the key message here is 929 statement lines were imported. Zero were duplicates, 929 were imported directly as reconciled. So, over here, everything is reconciled. That's the difference. Okay, this is called a coded import. Okay, we have coded everything. If we go back here, it's these two columns that make the key difference. Okay, we've added in the tax type and the account number. Okay, so that was just importing a coded bank statement. Auto reconcile, job done. Another way of getting data into Xero from QBO.